So in the last one, now, we know what's in, what under here, we know that the denominator cannot equal 0, right? Denominator cannot equal 0. So we got that. But there's also one other function that's special about this. If you guys can all look up here and take a look at something very, very important, important to see. Here is the square root, right? There's something special about the square root. If you remember about the square root, you cannot take the square root of a what type of number? Negative number. So not only can our denominator not equal to 0, but whatever's inside of this, whatever number we plug in for x, that can't make that quantity 0. Does everybody agree with me? Yes? OK. So what you're going to do is say 2x plus 1 has to be greater than or equal to 0. However, the problem in this case is we can't have 0 either. So I'm just going to use greater than. Typically, with the square root, it's greater than or equal to. But since this is in the denominator, you can't even use 0. So now you just solve for x. So x cannot equal negative 1 half. So every single number in the whole wide world, I'm sorry, x, sorry, ah, crap. Yeah, x has to be greater than negative 1 half. So every, wor every number in the whole wide world is a part of the domain except for the numbers that are greater than negative 1 half and also, uh, yeah, greater than negative 1 half because that will make that 0, right? Can't equal to 0. OK. Um, let's plug in negative, let's plug in negative, let's plug in some numbers. Let's plug in negative 1 half. 2 times negative 1 half is what? Zero. Negative 1. 2 times negative 1 half is negative 1. What's negative 1 plus 1? Zero. 0. What's the square root of 0? Zero? 0. Can you divide 1 divided by 0? No. So this works. That's not part of the domain. What about a number that's greater than negative 1 half? Let's pick um, or all numbers that are greater than 0. So we've got to pick numbers that are smaller. These are all the numbers that are inside of the domain. So let's pick a number that's smaller than negative 1 half. Let's pick negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Can you take the square root of negative 1? No. So all numbers that are not greater than negative 1 half um, um, are not a part of the domain. Only numbers that are greater than negative 1 half are a part of the domain. Think about it this way. Um, think about if I just said, f of x equals the square root of x. What would be all the numbers that would be a part of our domain? Anybody want to try? Yeah, it's all positive numbers. x is greater than or equal to 0. It, can it be 0? No, you're not paying attention. No, not you. Somebody else is not paying attention. Yes, x cannot equal 0. I mean, x can equal 0. You can take the square root of 0. That's fine and then all numbers that are larger than 0. However, you can't do anything less than 0. So the domain is all numbers that are positive, greater than or equal to 0. In this case, um, 2x plus 1, we can't have it equal to 0. It has to be all the values that are just greater than, because negative 1 half makes that 0, right? So it has to be greater than, not greater than or equal to. Basically, the difference is. Rational equation, you set it equal to 0 and solve. These are the values it can't be. For a radical, you set it greater than or equal to 0 and solve, except in this case, when it's a denominator, it can only be greater than, not greater than or equal to. Anybody have any other questions with that? Don't worry, guys. We are